Welcome! In this series of short videos, we will give an introduction to those who have never used Power Basic before or even consider taking up programming. Today we will look at the use of splash screens and user feedback. What are they? How can you make them? And how to use them in your Power Basic programming? So what are splash screens and what are they for? When you are writing software for your own use, there is not as much pressure to give feedback to the user while the application is running. As you wrote the software, you understand how it works. So if there is any delay in the program responding, you'll probably know when that's likely to happen. However, when you give your application to other users, it's a different story. They don't know what the application is doing internally. They only know what they can see on screen. In the Windows compiler, you will create forms. Another word for these is dialogues. A dialogue between people is a two-way conversation. In programming terms, it's very similar. You provide information to the user, and the user provides information and actions back to your application. A splash screen is something visible to the user, to indicate that the application is still functional but it may be busy doing something, and this feedback to the user is intended to put them at their ease, and ask them to wait. Without such feedback, users are apt to think that something has gone wrong. Perhaps the application has crashed or erred in some way. The display can be a window or form in its own right, sitting above any form or dialogue the user was accessing. However, it can also be an area on the user's dialogue, for example a progress bar, or animation or perhaps a count of progress. All this to give the user feedback that the application is in fact still working and they need not panic. So when should you use splash screens? If when your application loads there is a measurable delay in the first user dialogue appearing, a splash screen is very common. Some very large corporations have of late being somewhat lax in providing these quickly enough to users when their applications load. This of course leads users to question, did I click on that icon correctly? What's happening? When the software is provided by a large corporation, while negative feedback will eventually reach them, it is less impactful than someone in your company ambushing you at the coffee machine because they think your software has an issue. If the application you have written can perform a big data load, there can be delays in getting that data loaded and some feedback to the user is warranted, either by a splash screen or a progress bar. Likewise, when a user clicks on a button to initiate some processing, it's sensible to provide them feedback on how the request is progressing, with an indication of how long it is likely to take. Feedback is always important to keep the user informed. Users do get interrupted when using applications, and could be unsure of what was the last thing they did in your application. So what should these splash screens or progress indicators look like? This very much depends on the style of your application. For console applications, the graphics window is ideal for providing either a splash screen or just a progress bar and information. For Windows applications, either a full splash screen or a progress bar or even a mini splash screen to indicate that something is loading. While making this video, I realised that although I have created programming videos using progress bars and graphics windows, I haven't yet made a video that specifically covers the programming behind such information displays. So that will be the subject of the next video. However, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.